Hey y'all, it's Glossy Box Unboxing Time! Glossy Box Unboxing Time! So my box actually arrived yesterday, so I've already tried these products. So this time I'm going to be able to give you guys a little bit more information about the products and my overall feeling on each of them. But let's go ahead and get into the box. This month it is just the traditional pink box. And this month they included this cute little tropical beauty postcard that you can mail to a friend. As always, you get this wonderful pamphlet. Tells you all about your products and how much they cost, which I really like that because a lot of subscription boxes do not tell us how much our products cost. All right, so the first item I got, I am super excited about. We actually got a brush like this in our BoxyCharm last month, I think it was. And I really do like these brushes. This one is from The Cream Shop. And it says that depending on which brush you get, they're 10 to $15 each. I can't tell you which one I got. All right, so here is the brush itself. It is super smooth. The bristles are very dense. This brush is super dense, as you can see here. Um, you can tell I used it this morning. But yeah, overall, like this brush is pretty sturdy. Some of these brushes can be really flimsy, especially if you order them from cheap sites. So when I used this this morning, I did get a good application with this. I did end up needing to use my beauty blender just to blend under my eyes a little bit more. It was just awkward to get this up in my eye space, if you know what I mean. Next item in my box is this Bang Beauty. So this Bang Beauty is a cream color and you're supposed to be able to use it for multiple different things. It says that you can use this on your lips, on your cheeks, and as well on your eyes. So this morning, I tried this on all three of those things. And I'd say the lips is where I liked it the most. Um, my cheeks is where I liked it the least. Eyeshadow, primer, it was okay, but I did feel like during the day, my eyeshadow wore down a little bit quicker than it would have if I would have used a traditional eyeshadow primer. But here, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. The reason I didn't care for this on my cheeks it's just because I didn't get enough color for me and it's very shimmery um, so as you can see sometimes when you catch the light it looks like there's nothing there I have a little blush on right now but we'll go ahead and add some to my cheeks just so you guys can see I had to reapply with some real blush so that is how it looks on the cheeks I mean it's okay it's definitely better since I already have some blush on but when I had no blush on this morning, I felt like this just disappeared on my skin. I didn't really see it at all. It did look pretty on my eyelids, though. So this Bang Beauty retails for $26, and this is a full-size item in this box. All right, the next item I got here is by La Roche, La Roche Posay. by the roach pussy is what it looks like. I'm so sorry, I should have not said that word, but that is kind of what it sounds like. It sounds like you're trying to say the roach, you know. Anyway, moving on. So this is a BB cream. It says that it's an instant oil absorbing BB cream. It's in the light to fair shade. So here is the BB cream on my hand and let's just blend it in. It is very smooth and very moussey. I mean, it has a nice feel to it, but I felt like, like rubbing it between my fingers, it feels greasy. It says it's going to absorb oil, but it feels oily to me. It felt oily when I put it on my face as well. Um, so this one, unfortunately, I am not a fan of. This BB cream retails for $30 for one fluid ounce. As you can see here, we have three, we have 0.34 ounces. Alright, next item as far as face as well. This product is by Biosense and this is a face serum. It is an oil for your face. Y'all, the full size of this retails for $70. That's expensive. I really do like the packaging of this little bottle and it also has a little droplet at the top. So, here we go. It is, I mean, this is just an oil. I did use this as well today and I used it last night too and it made my skin feel super soft and hydrated. So this is something I'm actually pretty impressed with. 
Maybe it's why my skin was a little more oily today, but it makes my skin just feel so great. This product I'm really, really excited about, so I think this might be my favorite product actually in my whole box this month. And the last product we have is from Julep. I think everyone got this one this month, and this is the Lip Addiction Oil Treatment. And this is in the color Covet. So this is what the lip gloss looks like. I really like the packaging. It's really cool looking. And if we go ahead and take this out, it's really hard to pull out and put back in, um, but it has an interesting little applicator that is, I don't know, it's just different. Mm, my lipstick came off on it. Okay, so pros and cons about this because I used this like seven times yesterday. Um, pros are it does make your lips shiny. They do feel moisturized. Um, they're not sticky whatsoever. The downsides of this are the smell and taste are not good. It says it has like grapeseed oil and different things like that in it. But for me, this I'm not tasting anything good. It's not horrible, like it's not going to rants it or anything like that. I just really like scented lip glosses, you know, they're a little vanilla, chocolate, watermelon, you yeah, know, I just like some sweet flavors in my lip gloss. And the other downside about this lip gloss is it wears off really quickly or it absorbs into the skin. I'm not sure which one, maybe I'm dehydrated and my lips really needed the oil but my lips were sucking this up. I was reapplying it every like 15 minutes last night and I wasn't even doing anything but watching TV. So, and this Julep Lip Oil retails for $22. So overall, I'm super happy with my Glossy Box. I'm sure you guys have noticed over the last couple months, but Glossy Box has really stepped it up. They've started adding more makeup products into their subscriptions, as well as keeping some of the skincare. And like I've said before, I'm just not the one that's going to go to the store and be like, oh, let me pay $70 for this little oil treatment. I'm sure my skin needs it. It's just not fun. I'm drawn to like the bright, colorful, candy looking packaging of makeup. So, you know, this is a great subscription for me and anyone else who maybe knows they need better skincare, but don't really take the time to find products that they like or to try them. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. You guys have a wonderful, fabulous, fantastic day. And until next time, bye y'all.